Barb Jesus, Ben and I went hunting up in North Texas, and he has spied some hogs with this super hogster. And they're way out there at roughly 500 yards or so. You can see just a little tiny white dots. That's because they're partially obscured by high grass. And here we are during our stalk. The wind is not being favorable to us with the way the hogs that are moving. And the hogs have moved downwind from where they were, so we've got to play catch up, which we've finally done here. Now I'm going to be shooting my Lone Star Armory TX-15 Multipurpose Carbine Enhanced with 6.5 Grindle Hornet DSST ammunition. Yeah, can you see the other ones? I'll let you know. So here we're trying to yeah, figure out our targets. One. It's out in the open. And the high grass is not doing us any favors whatsoever. There's one right next to him. You take the one on the right, I got the one on the left. Yep. Three. Hold on. Come in behind the brush, left grass. Lost him. Those are smaller. Okay, I want to have another target. You take the one that's in the open, okay? You sure? Yep. I'll identify one of these other targets here in a second. So Ben gives me the big target. I'm not going to pass that up. Okay, go ahead. Three, two, one. On the hill. This hog is still alive, so I'm going to work to try to get it put down. There we go, that did it. Good shot. I think he's down right next to the other one. Safe. Safe. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery. We had three hogs down, all boars, none of them particularly large. Moving on to the next property, Ben spied these hogs just inside the gate, downwind from us, and with the moon backlighting us. We were in a terrible position, so we're going to try to circle around to the right. But in the process, the wind finally gets to the hogs, and they start moving to the right as well. And so now it's a race with the hogs to try to catch them in an open area before they get to the cattle. And we would have had a good setup here if not for the heavy fencing. Moving on, following the fence, and the hogs are headed towards the cattle, unfortunately. But we're going to follow them around and see what develops. So we've got cattle and hogs. So Ben and I are going to move up to that gate right there. And he's going to be shooting a 30 Remington AR with a 20 inch barrel and Hornady SST 125 grain hand loads. Now this is going to be a one shot and one shot only deal. And I'm trying to get Ben to take a hog on the very far right. Uh, yeah, the far right. Yeah, can you take him? Yeah. And yes. he doesn't look as far right as I had looked, and so he's not, not seeing not the hog in the, the far right. No. Right, yeah, right, right, right. yeah, I got it. Okay. And I'm going to take what I think is a different hog in the back, and we're going to end up shooting the same hog. Let me know when you're clear. Butt towards me. I got that. I can, okay, I'm clear. Three, two, one. <laughs> Our board goes down. I tell Ben to let him run. He could have shot that hog right there on the right-hand side, but it was a one-shot deal, and he appropriately let it go. Oh, they're going over to the neighbors. Now, ideally, it would have been nice if we would have shot separate hogs, but I like the fact that we both chose a hog that we thought was safe for the shot. It just happened to be the same hog. Yeah, that one right there, he's just prancing. What's that? He's just prancing. Dave. Dave. The hog was a 130 pound boar, and he ended up being our last hog of the night.
Carpe sus, my friends.